So this last one is um, really a jaw dropper. And this is really just standing on its own. It has nothing to do with anything we've talked about tonight. Although it does have a lot to do when we... This is Charlie Munger, who is Warren Buffett's right-hand guy at Berkshire Hathaway. And Warren Buffett is sitting on the couch next to Charlie Munger as most of the time they're together. A lot of times they're together. And they're both about 90-something years old. Warren Buffett obviously is... um, Berkshire Hathaway's chairman is thought of as one of the great investors ever. And Charlie Munger is just an old, uh, irrational, angry man. Like a a cranky, (laughs) evil miser. Like an oligarch. Like you think about oligarchs. Let them eat cake. Yeah. So they're talking to CNBC about... I don't even know what the lead in was, something business wise and, 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 and censorship in China, maybe, or something. And well, I don't even need to set it up. They talk about Jack Ma, who has pretty much disappeared. Of course, Apple, um, he's the chairman of, I think it's called Apple, Apple News Daily. Um, so just listen to this discussion. As she says, well, you know, Jack Ma, what do we do about situations like this where Jack Ma has pretty much disappeared? You may not even believe, I swear this is a real clip and it's not edited. Roll it, G. Charlie, you said communist China is doing all the things that we should be doing right now. And I, I can't help but think of what, they're, what well, they've done well, to Jack it Ma. It amuses me, you know. Well, uh, what about what they've done to Jack Ma? He's kind of disappeared. As Well, yes, but Jack Ma is one of the swingers. So they just cut his, they said, the hell with you. <laughs> he basically got, gave a speech when he said to a, to a one-party state, well, you guys are a bunch of jerks don't know what you're doing, and I know what I'm doing, and I'm going to do it better. And he was going to wade into banking and no rules and just do whatever he pleased. He also but brought banking Chinese, to a lot of The Chinese people. communists did the right thing. They just called in Jack Ma and said, you aren't going to do it, Sonny. And... and uh, I wish we had a, I don't want the, all of the Chinese system, but I certainly would like to have the financial part of it in my own country. Although Ant Financial was bringing banking to a huge unbanked population. Whoa. Is that, like a, is like, that unbelievable? That's like a super evil Mortimer and Randolph. He has great admiration for the Chinese Communist Party making this guy disappear. And he, he wants some of that here. They're psychopaths. You know when old people don't care who knows what they think and they'll just say whatever they want? Yeah. He, he was just going to do what he wanted. Of course, Jack Ma's company, I believe, was headquartered in Hong Kong, which used to be actually about freedom until recently. And Charlie Munger says, well, they just said... <laughs> And he seems to be okay with it. And Warren Buffett's sitting there drooling on himself, I guess, not saying anything. 